What's going on guys, this is Al Lecure and welcome to Season 2 Episode 11 of my Swansea City Career Mode. Again, I'm starting every single episode off with this, but I just want to say a massive sorry, but it is really good to be back. Uh, I've had a busy schedule over the last week, a lot of things have happened, I'm trying to get my car up for sale, um, just a lot of stuff that I don't really need to go into, but I am sorry, and uh, the uploads will become a bit more consistent, I'm hoping so anyway. Um, again, this is something I say every time. But uh, yeah, just apology before we go on. But regardless of that, going into the first game of this episode, we've got Juventus again in the Champions League. Uh, well, I th what's it called in here? Champions Cup is called in here, but it is the Champions League. Um, not the strongest team. We do not have the strongest team out. I think um, the table for the Champions League has already been shown at the start of this. Uh, but we're doing pretty well in it. We don't really need to go out and push. Whereas, as you can see, Juve Juventus' team is an extremely strong one. They've sent Rafael Varane in there. Uh, and obviously the the quality players that they already had, Higuain, Marquisio, uh, Mandzukic is there. Yeah, I expected a hard game. And from the first couple of minutes of this game, I could really tell that I was, uh, I was up for a fight. So we've got Quadrado here on the ball. As you can see, we're pressing high up on the pitch. That's how I decided to, to try and go after this game. But Juventus do really well to get the ball up to Higuain. He plays a 1-2 there with Mandzukic. And now, Alexandro, who's found himself in a lot of space down this left-hand side. He'll float one into the back post. Mandzukic against Bartley. And Mandzukic is the winner there. He had the momentum of the run. And obviously, Mandzukic is top quality in the air anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, up against... I mean, Bartley had a hard job there to win that, to be fair to him. But, uh, yeah, we're 1-0 down early on in this game. And, I mean, I really was seeing how good Juventus were in this game. I didn't have my strongest team out. I mean, I still had a strong team out, don't get me wrong. But, you know, giving games to the likes of uh, Matt Grimes um, in there. Martin Odegaard started this game. Uh, Boney wasn't playing, but a nice bit of football here to try and get us back into the game. Nathan Dye with a great through ball into Jefferson Montero, and just like that, we're 1 1. To be fair, um, Juventus were all over me for the first 20 minutes or so of this game, and, uh, and they scored that first one, and they kind of just sat back a bit. And as you can see here, I just tried to play, ping the ball about a bit, play some nice football, and uh, th that's a well worked goal, in my opinion. I mean, debatably, Buffon could have done better. I think, had he been a little bit younger, Buffon in his earlier days would have come out quicker and, uh, and taken that off Montero's head. But um, Montero, a great bit of desire to get in behind, and he manages to get a nice goal. Montero on the ball here, gets dispossessed, but it comes in the bar for Timmy Gomez, back into Montero, and in my opinion, he should be doing a little bit better from that. To be fair, um, the left wingers we got in the team, I mean, Memphis is usually one that is better at the finishing and stuff like that, Montero is better at beating players, you know, assisting goals, um, so, you know, I'm not really too mad at Montero at, at missing that chance, that's not what he's there for, but uh, a great double header there by Oxford, it's a good chance for us to go on another attack here as Nathan Dyer has the ball, into Erdegaard, back into Bafatimbi Gomez, who plays it into Mac Grimes, Mac Grimes through to Jack Hawk, Jack Hawk went on one, and he'll put that one away. 10 minutes after we scored the first one and Jack Hawk makes it 2-1. Not the most likely of scorers, but um, a good goal nonetheless and I'll take it. I was pretty happy with that goal. As you can see, we're just taking our time and Matt Grimes, uh, it's too easy. I mean, I've said this a million times before, I'm on Legendary, there is no higher difficulty. And sometimes I feel like the CPU of the other team just do not do simple footballing stuff, like tracking that run. But... Um, Regardless, we can't be complacent of this. Uh, Juventus are obviously a really strong team and they've got a chance here, but Stephen King's lead as well. Excuse me, but uh, the ball comes into Jefferson Montero here. It does well to get past Marquisio for now. He'll get the ball into Bafa Timbi Gomez. One on one with Chiellini. He does well. Squares him up. Montero got the ball now into Nathan Dyer. Nathan Dyer to take the shot. And it's a good block. Can Nathan Dyer keep anything alive here and create something? It's Nathan Dyer into Angel Rangel. And he's not the best finisher and it shows there. Um, good chance for us at the end of the half though, that could have been 3-1. Um, quickly, while I've got a little moment in the game, I just want to say briefly, um, yesterday was the Swans game up against Man City, we ended up losing 2-0, but um, like I said, I will say shortly uh, for now, I'm really, really impressed with the performance. I mean, it shouldn't have been a goal at the end. I mean, the uh, Man City free kick that was given was not a free kick at all. Um, I, I didn't watch much of the day last night. I never really like watching much of the day when Swans lose. Um, but yeah, a very undeserved free kick was given to Man City. Uh, and I feel like we were outdone by it. But 
losing 2-1 there, it's, it's no shame, there's no disgrace. I mean, to, to say that we were disappointed not coming away with a point is good uh, as Monterio makes a 3-1. Another one where I think Buffon in his earlier days would have done a little bit better. 15 minutes from play. That puts us in a really good position. And considering this isn't our best Swans team, uh, a 3-1 result at home to Juve is, uh, is a very good one. As you can see there, Buffon at fault for that one, in my opinion. Probably could have done a bit better, but uh, a good finish nonetheless from Jefferson Montero. But back to Swans in real life, as I was saying. Um, a 2-1 win up, up against... Uh, what am I talking about? A 2-1 defeat against Man City where we didn't deserve to lose. I'm really proud and I'm, I'm really pleased with how things are looking. Uh, two wins on the trot from Paul Clement and then to, to obviously lose that one late on against Man City. It's a good run of games and uh, I'm hoping we'll only get better. And, and we've got a strong team now. Sigurdsson is a massive, massive part. Uh, I'm glad he stayed in January. I don't think there were sort of any rumours of him going, but uh, I'm glad we kept him. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, if we go down, he, he won't stay. I, I'll put a full stop on that. He will not stay, end of. Uh, as we get another chance here with Marvin Emnes. Great bit of closing down of Rafael Varane into Bafetimbi Gomez. And uh, misses two chances there. You, I did get told to sell him last episode. And and he may have a point that I may have to sell him. Uh, getting late on in the game now. We're just trying to create anything. George Baez we actually brought on for the last bit of this game. And look at this chance from Reese Oxford here. A great ball in from Nathan Dyer. And it was a shame that Reese Oxford had to be on the end of it. But um, yeah, what a result in the Champions League. 3-1 up against uh, Juventus. And uh, I, that well, we obviously stayed top of our group. I think we've won every single game in the Champions League as well. Um, Gonzalo Higuain. We managed to... Uh, keep a clean sheet against him even though Manzuka score we managed to not allow Higuain to score that's better but um, yeah two goals from Montero a really good performance from him um, but yeah back to the Swans in real life I was asked to do a video on like the Swans transfer window what I think uh, as you can see here we've got two job offers sorry I'm, I'm going on tangents here and there but uh, should I take the Mexico Argentina job I have asked this before and they said no hold out for the Wales job I think that's what I am going to do is hold off for the Wales job but um, yeah I'm, I may make a video on the Swans transfer window in real life what I think of it um, and what I think of the Swans situation right now if that's something you want to see then please let me know because I never really know whether to do them videos or not I mean I, I don't know if it appeals to people so um yeah all of your feedback when i ask these questions in these videos it, it is really uh for a reason like i do really need your feedback and like anything that you feel can be improved in the videos that i make uh again please comment them down below i i'm really intrigued to hear what you think could get better about the series or whatnot um but yeah i think that's it for now I, i'm sorry about this episode as well i haven't done a video in a while and i want to talk about a lot of stuff and i've tried cramming it into this um well, not a little video. This video actually goes on for a while. But uh, we're going into the second game, and I, I'm going to shut up now, and I'm just going to purely talk about this game. West Brom, 11th in the league, I believe, uh, as opposed to us. We're first. Haven't lost a game all season. We have drawn one, which... Um I can't even remember what that is. But a chance early on here, three minutes into the game. Wilfred Borney... What a strike. What an entrance to this game. And Wilfred Borney, uh, we start him out of the last Champions League game. We do usually play Wilf in the Champions League games with Sigurdsson behind. But um, I, we were doing really well in the Champions League. So I decided to rest Siggy and Borney. And uh, as you can see, he's delighted to be back playing. And what a finish that is. There's absolutely no chance. I think John Ruddy is the goalkeeper in goals there. But absolutely no chance for um, John Ruddy as Borney scores his 10th goal of the season in um, just as many games or I think 11 games has been but uh, West Brom here dispossess us high up the pitch and it's a really good ball through here to Robson Carnu. he's just holding up the play Julian Cobb goes in for a poor tackle and then uh, Robson Carnu's effort is easily palmed away there from me by Michel Vaughan uh, I was asked to sign Hal Robson Carnu. I'm still a bit 50-50 I was so tempted after the good Euros he had but I don't, I don't know, should I sign him? Let me know again, I'm asking loads of questions, but um, yeah, a good chance from us now from the corner to counter-attack, as you can see, Wilfred Boney gets the ball into Memphis, and Memphis will just square up the defender and play the through ball to Wilfred Boney, Boney 1-1-1 one, one, one with the keeper now, and he goes to shoot, and it's a cracking save from John Ruddy, and uh, the defender, I think that's McManaman there, that gets back and does really, really well uh, to stop it going from 2-0 to us. Um, 
Alan Neom on the ball here now as he passes it inside and it'll go wide to Nasser Chadley who uh, I think was a really good signing for uh, West Brom to be fair but as you could see Gilfi Sigurdsson or I think it was Leroy Fair took the ball off him and comes into Motobaro one on one and it's another good save from Ruddy could be poor decision making there by me with Barrow but uh, we still got another chance here as Sigurdsson gets the ball into Leroy Fair and it's another good save from John Ruddy there uh, pulled off two good saves in a row there to stop us going even further into the lead and uh, It'll be a good result at half-time for West Brom if they manage to only go in at 1-0. But uh, Boney takes the ball off Neom. Ball into Gilfie Sigurdsson now. Oh, great bit of footwork there as he gets past the defender. Still Sigurdsson. And oh, what a finish into the bottom right corner. Uh, that's clinical. That is... That is just Sigurdsson in a nutshell. As you can see, he squares up the defender. Nice bit of footwork and then pulls it onto his left foot. And a low drive into the bottom right-hand corner. John Ruddy with uh, not much of a chance on that one. And it's 2-0 just before half-time. Like I said, I think it probably would have been a good result at half-time for West Brom had they gone in at 1-0 with the chances we had. But uh, can always rely on that man, the, the ice man, Gilfie Sigurdsson, as he scores his seventh goal in the Premier League. So not too far behind Boney, to be fair. Um, but yeah, seven goals, and that's half-time. It was literally the last kick of the half. I think they took kick off, and then uh, and then it blew for half-time. But uh, interesting signing for West Brom. I think Braithwaite was uh, starting this game. I think I've butchered that pronunciation, but uh, the striker for Toulouse. Uh, but as you can see here, what a ball this is, as it comes luckily to Memphis. Still Memphis on the ball. He'll put it inside to Wilfred Boney. Boney, great save from John Ruddy. Is the ball still in play as it comes to Gilfie Sigurdsson? Onto his right foot, Sigurdsson. And it's just over the crossbar. But uh, like I said, John Ruddy is having a storm of this game. Uh, Mobaro gets the ball here. Passes it inside to Wilfred Boney. Boney into Leroy Fair, but he gets tackled. Ball to Chadley now as he passes it up the pitch to Claudio Jakob. West Brom with a decent counter-attack here. Get a bit fortunate there as the ball comes to Christof Christoforo. Not sure who he is, but he pulls it onto his right-hand foot. Takes the shot. And what a strike that is from the West Brom man. I'm not sure whether he's a player in real life, if he's a youth player or if he's a new signing, but I don't think I've heard of him before. Um, I'm not sure whether he goes like under another name, but what a strike this is. I mean, questions can be asked about the defending. Well, definitely the defending by me and then the goalkeeping from Michel Vaughan, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see here from this angle, he's just hit it with so much power. Vaughan can't, can't get to it in time. It is a wonderful strike, but... I don't know, questions could be asked uh, about Michel Vaughan there. But uh, a diving attempt there to get the ball from Ryan Shaw across. And this alarm bells here for Swans as uh, West Brom try and get an equaliser. McManaman on the ball, crosses it in. Good header away from Ryan Shaw across, but a poor clearance. As it comes to Hal robson Carnu holding the ball off well now. Just frustrating, that's more than anything. But Sigurdsson manages to nip in and get the ball. Now then, there's a counter-attacking opportunity for us. Mobaro gets the ball. He's in acres of space. He'll get himself in a one-on-one -on -one with an opportunity. He had one earlier, but he'll finish this one. And we'll go 3-1 up with not so long left in the game. That could turn out to be a crucial goal for Mobaro. Uh, nothing John Ruddy could do about that one. As you can see, he gets into space here. And Jonas Olsen is not catching him up. He's uh, one of the slower centre-halves in the Prem. And that is a much better finish from Mobaro. As you can see, on his left foot. I mean, John Ruddy did get close to it, to be fair. But um, a good finish from the, uh, from the man that's now gone on loan to Leeds. So, uh, yeah, he's not actually at the club in real life. But... West Brom will look for a way to try and get back in this game. There's still 15 minutes left, so if they get one goal, it would be alarm bells for us. But we've got an attack of our own here as the ball comes into Wilfred Boney. Back into Wayne Routledge off the bench. Wayne Routledge, another good save from John Ruddy. This is from far from what we usually are. We're usually really clinical, but uh, this game... The keeper's pulled off some good saves, and we've just been sloppy with our chances. But uh, Nasser Chadley now gets the ball into Jakob. Jakob beats Leroy Fair quite easily there. Claudio Jakob with a strike, but uh, that's easy for Michel Vorm. I believe that the free kick came from the tackle on Jakob. Nasser Chadley comes to hit it. Oh, it comes off the crossbar, and it bounces around in the box. Good strike, and it just goes wide of the post. Uh, luckily for us there. I mean, again, like I said, it could be a nervy moments if West Brom get a goal now. Nasser Chadley on the ball. He'll play this one down the line to Braithwaite, who's obviously got a lot of pace. Still Braithwaite. Good ball into the back post. Craig Dawson out of everyone. Uh, and it's a good save from Michel Vaughan. To be fair, I don't know why Dawson was shooting from that angle. But uh, the keeper's up here for West Brom, as you can see. Chadley to get the ball into the box now. Not so long left in the game. And it's Olsen to take the first touch. He'll pull it back. And it's a good shot from Matty Phillips. And uh, I think that's Smith there at the back post who manages to tap it in. 
as you can see, a really sloppy defending from us. I think that's Matty Phillips that takes the first shot, and uh, Michel Vaughan parries it straight into the uh, into the opposing striker's position. And it's an easy tap in in the end. But more Baron now. We're just trying to kill the game off, as you can see. We get the ball up the other end of the pitch. And that's a great through ball from Wilfred Borney. Leroy Fair to kill the game off. And he strikes the post in one of the last minutes of the game. We kick the ball over, try and get it to Marvin Emnes now. Then West Brom with the chance to counter attack here. But luckily for us, the ref blows the whistle. And that's full time of that game. Um, yeah. What an interesting game uh, up against West Brom. To be fair, they, they made it a really tough contest late on in the game. But uh, I just want to say at the end of this episode, I'm sorry if this commentary is a bit ragged and a bit all over the place. I'm, I'm, I hate taking time off because every time I come back, I feel like I've lost uh, a little bit of quality in my videos. But hopefully you guys managed to get through this one okay. Two big wins for us. We managed to score three goals, but uh, not our best defensive displays in a while. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please turn in tomorrow. I should have a Gilfie Sigurdsson Road to Glory video tomorrow. Thank you all for watching and peace.